Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have the Dal RC rocket in for testing. Now this is the latest from Dal RC and they've released actually three new components. They released this rocket which is rated for 50 amps, another one rated for 45 amps and a flight controller which is an F7 with dual gyros. I'll leave a link to everything down below if you want to go ahead and check it out and be the first to get it before they get out of stock. Now I know something about Dal RC from purchasing from them when they're out of stock they're out of stock for a very long time and their manufacturing takes forever to get anything done so they like to be out of stock for some reason so yeah take that into consideration so let's get started so this is an improvement now this one's rated up to a 6s the previous dal rc engine from dal rc uh was not rated up to a 6s and if you put a 6s you will almost immediately burn the fet or after a couple flights back down to a 4s you'll burn the flight just connecting a 6s uh you could eat damage the fet so uh, if that ever happened to you and you know and you're like oh dal rc is bullshit it blew up you know, then that's why you, you you have to know that so this one's rated for a 6s a true 6s and uh, it's rated up for 50 amps, and it's a Beale Holly 32, but there's no telemetry, but you do get current sensing, so that's really nice to see here. So they, they provide you with current sensing, and you do get a huge, well, it's not really huge, you, do, you get a quite a bit of few capacitors here for filtration, which is really nice to see, and they're really sticking to these really small ones. I think these are possible, no, I don't even think these are low ESR ones. But anyways, we do have some pretty good filtration. Obviously, we're going to see that in the testing right now. So let's go ahead and remove the heat sink here. Or actually, before we do it, let's just see what it comes with. They provide you with a 560 microfarad 35 volt capacitor. And they do have these little holes in there. So it makes it very easy for you to put in away from the pads. And I highly recommend you do that first before setting it up on your ES in your flight controller. I mean, quadcopter. And uh, this one is recommended if you're going to be using a 6S setup. And uh, I'll be testing the 6S very soon while doing a 6S shootout on 4 and one ESCs that are capable or theoretically written that are capable to take 6S. All right, so let's put this to the side. You do get your rubber grommets and you get wires as well. Now, if you also notice, it's a huge step up from their previous Dell RC engine because they've gone ahead and removed the pins because everybody was just complaining and complaining. So they've gone ahead and removed it and they've set up a connector. Now, also, not only do they have a connector set up here for you, they have pads for you you can access from both sides, which is a huge, huge plus. This is a really well thought out 4-in-1 ESC. Now, it's well thought out, but how is the testing? We don't know just yet. We're going to get into that in a little bit. So let's remove the heatsink and take a look at what's under. Now, for me, it's, I'm just going to pop it off like this, but it was hell. It was very difficult to remove. So as I remember, I also did the same thing to the Dal RC engine. Now, the thermal compound was just not all over every MOSFET. It was just randomly placed. However, this one was really over every single FET and all the capacitors. Now here it's kind of faded away because I've been using it and handling it a lot, but it was really good. Like they took their time doing it. That's what I'm trying to say here. So we do see some kind of filtration here. We do see a couple more caps up here. It's really nice. The more caps you see, usually the, be the better actually. Uh, the overall component is gonna perform. And uh, if we take a look at the FETs, they're pretty good FETs. I mean, compared to the Hobbywing uh, Micro X Schroeder G2, you can tell the size difference. Now this is so cold rated for 45 amps, but the when you read the data sheet on these MOSFETs, only 30 amps and heat dissipation is absolutely terrible. And these basically not blew up, these melted. If you missed this video, I think it's the video before this one. So yeah, I mean, yeah, let's put this to the side. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test this with the 560 microfarad low ESR capacitor that they provide us with and without. And uh, we're gonna be doing all these testing on a 4S setup using the Brother Hobby R6 or 7 2450KV, they're 2306, so they're really, really monstrous motors, and those are the ones that burn this, and I told you these, those are the noisiest I find to have, so that's why I set it up there. So, enough talking, let's just get testing.
All right, guys, so the results are in and it's looking very good. So let's get started. Now, this is the Dell RC Rocket 50 amp version. Now, don't mistake this with the 45 amp version because they released two of them. The heatsink looks somewhat different as well as the rating is different. So on the left here, we have the Dell RC Rocket with no capacitors. And on the right here, we have the Dell RC Rocket with the 560 35 volt Rubicon low ASR capacitor that is provided with the ESC itself in the package. So let's take a look at the part with the low ESR. It looks beautiful. It's perfect. There's really nothing to say. This is this is a perfect result, basically. And uh, let's go ahead and jump to this part with no low ESR capacitor because that's where the test actually matters, at least for me, because the cap could pop off in the field. It's all about the filtration and the performance of the ESC without anything externally provided, which talks about how well the hardware is made. Here we have the throttle noise level test and down here we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Here we have 10% throttle, 25, 50, 75 and 100% throttle. Now every ESC on 75% throttle, it's the noise easiest it's just how they're made i guess it's just how things are working and here it's about the most efficient it runs around 100 percent throttle here so over here it's looking pretty good and we're going to compare that in a little bit so you can get a better idea and right here the simulator aggressive flight maneuvers we had a minimum of 6.2 volt dropout and a maximum of 24.8 voltage spike now the drop it can vary from battery to battery but um this is still pretty good right here so let's just put this into comparison now don't forget this is a 4 in 1 esc now that does really matter so recently we've tested the DYS Aria and let's put in the DYS Aria into the mix. So as you can tell here, uh, the, it's the DYS Aria, I, I think is a little bit on the lower end of the average four in one ESCs, or, I mean, you know, you could even consider this average because not a lot of foreign ESCs perform very good at all, except a couple that are easily mentioned. Uh, for example, this one, the Dal RC engine, Tico 32, those are still all the best ESCs. Now, as you can tell in the, in the noise graph here, you can see how over here, this is DYS Aria now, and you can obviously see the Dal RC rocket is still winning. Um, by quite a bit now if you take a look with the low ESR capacitor the low ESR capacitor would fix up almost any ESC so we really don't want to really take a look at that because whatever you put low ESR capacitor to it's going to look very nice unless it's a really piece of crap uh, ESC so the DYS Aria was a huge letdown because the single ESCs were very good and the rocket here is outperforming now don't forget the rocket is also rated up to a 6S now let's bring in something else here you know what let's bring in the Dal RC engine so both of these obviously were on uh uh, 4s tests so let's go ahead and check this out so here is the dal rc engines noise right here this is the previous model this is the first foreign one esc ever released by dal rc and you know they've they've came into the market very well uh their components perform really good which i really like seeing that and let's take a look here now in terms of throttle noise level test it's almost identical here it's it's a little bit better with the rocket you can kind of tell from these little dips. Actually, it's about the same. But it, overall, it looks more consistent than the Dal RC engine. But it's basically identical. It's crazy here. All right, let's take a look at the noise down here. The noise also is pretty much identical. I mean, these, these two are performing very well. But I can see towards the end here, actually, that the Dal RC rocket is a little bit better. And uh, let's just let me just take a deeper look here and just get a better idea. Actually, they're almost pretty good. They're pretty, almost exactly identical. Uh, so they're both doing pretty good. Uh, the, the rocket's doing slightly better. Slightly better, but it, it is somewhat, I think, noticeably better. But not by much. There's still very good ESCs here, which is really nice to see. A huge, huge shout out to Dal RC. It's a very good job here. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Well, I mean, we have other crappy phone one ESCs, and it's not really fair. Oh! uh let's see let's do let's do a comparison with the tico 32 4 one esc because i know that's what everybody's going to be going for uh they want to see how well that does so let's get the throttle here uh here's the noise so this is the tico 32 4 one esc this is just beautiful these are these are like the top three escs now it's good it's just putting a huge smile on my face i was actually showing my face but i can't right now all right hold on we get the throttle color i can't find it there it is all right so the Tico 32 is slightly better at filtration, especially towards the 70. You could tell this from the throttle noise level test, but when it comes down to it, uh, they're both, the Tico is still slightly better, 
but they're almost identical. I mean, th these are very, very good ESCs. And now to compare with the best single ESC, not 4 in 1 ESC. Now, this is the one on the right here is theoretically the best 4 in 1 ESC. And then the one on the left now is theoretically the second best ESC I've ever tested. And the dollar RC engine is going to be in the third now because the rocket is slightly better. Now, I don't know about the newer version of the 45 amp rocket. Uh, I'll try to get one of those in. And we'll see how well that does. But let's go ahead and compare it with, hmm, let's pull up a DYS Aria ESC, not the 4-in-1 ESC, because DYS Aria, I think, is in the top three single ESCs, just to get an idea of the difference here between the rocket. Can you see that? That's that's really good. That's like putting DYS, it's even a little bit better, because here it's, it's weird. It has some weird hiccups sometimes, DYS Aria. But overall, these are very nice results. These are in the top, these are the top ESCs and they all perform almost exactly alike. And you know, that, that says a lot, especially, I mean, remember, did you see, I don't know if you guys seen the, 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 the Hobbywing X rotor that I tested yesterday or yeah, yesterday or two days ago. I don't remember which video this one's going to be, but let's take a look at this. It was <laughs> with low ESR capacitor. It was perfect, you know, but then once you add, removed that low ESR capacitor, that thing blew up on me. That is a terrible ESC. And I really wanted to tell you it's a terrible ESC, but just because mine blew, I didn't want to go ahead and j like just jump on it because once I did that with the Spedex IS-34-1 ESC, oh my god, you guys ripped my head off on that one, which is this one right here. I mean, you, you can totally see which is a good ESC and which is a bad ESC. And you can even hear it in the motors. So the Dow RC Rocket is a fantastic ESC. The heat dissipation, obviously, uh, the heat dissipation is going to be slightly better than Tico 4 one ESC. So theoretically, you will have more power output in flight. Because if your ESCs are heating up and then you have a nice little fat heat sink that's soaking up some of that heat and cooling it off, it'll perform better because these FETs like to stay cool. The higher the temp, the lower the power output becomes. So overall, um, you can't go wrong, in my opinion, with a Dal RC rocket, a Dal RC engine, and uh, the Tico 32. Those are the best three ESCs ever. Uh, currently, the best 4-in-1 ESCs. And um, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's really, really nice. This is, yeah, this is just the white version or the non-colored version. So overall, this ESC tested absolutely beautiful absolutely phenomenal it's in the top three escs and these th three escs are in the same class so uh you could choose as you please as you like and i uh, really hope it was useful to someone out there and um good job dal rc you didn't let us down that's, that's i'm very happy for that i was very worried about the v2 of your escs but like this it just it's looking awesome just keep doing what you're doing and i'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna uh like what you're doing because it's just testing very nice Alright guys, well that's going to conclude it for this video guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I really do hope it was useful to someone out there. If it was, please consider joining my Patreon. It will really support the channel. I need all the support I could possibly get at the current moment in time. And uh, you could also use the links down below. Those greatly support the channel as well. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. Peace out guys.